Hello and welcome back to another video in our SQL Server installation. We are now here on part number four in which we're going to be installing, installing Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition. Now we actually went through the process and downloaded that in part one. I'll show the URL once again here in this one, but I've already downloaded that, uh, so we're basically going to be running through it. Now, not only are we going to be installing Visual Studio, which is really an application that is used for many different things. You can create basically projects around many, many different types of technologies, code languages. You can do Visual Basic, right? You can go in here and do some other things around database projects. Our main emphasis and focus here, though, is when we install Visual Studio, we're going to want to add in the different business intelligence project templates, right? So this is mainly, once again, it's optional. You don't, not everyone has to install Visual Studio. This is for those that are going to be adventuring into our analysis services classes. So intro and advanced analysis services, whether it's tabular or multidimensional. Our intro and advanced reporting services classes. Um, some of the ones that are going to be using Visual Studio that will be announced in the class itself. Uh, and if you're doing any of our integration services classes, both intro and advanced. So generally we'll kind of acknowledge, hey, we're going to be using Visual Studio in this class. And this is that installation process. So what we need to do is get the application installed and, and then we need to actually install the projects in Visual Studios. For those of you who've maybe worked in a previous version of SQL Server and Visual Studio, there was a process before known as SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. This was something that you ran and you installed, and that's what got you the BI project templates. That's how you were able to create SSIS projects or reporting services projects. That is no longer the case, right? As of after 2017 and after, we no longer have to do this. We actually do it directly inside of Visual Studio, simply going through their marketplace and using their Visual Studio extension installers. So we do it all within Visual Studio itself, right? So it's nice, self-contained. There still is a an SSDT instance that you can um, leverage. You still do this during the installation process of Visual Studio. This is so that you can actually have the database project templates available. But we'll see that as we go through the installer. It is technically an optional element. You really don't even have to do this. Uh, our main focus is, once again, for analysis services projects, integration services projects, and reporting services project. So that's what we're going to focus on. So I'm going to move away from the slide deck itself. You can see just behind me the URL that I've gone to to basically download Visual Studio. You can see here it chooses, and we've gone through and chose uh, Community 2022, which is what I'm going to be moving through. So let's just go ahead and get this installer going. Let's get that uh, started. All right, I'm going to sneak away here from the camera. So it's saying here, we need to uh, do a few things. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. This shouldn't take too quick. It's getting these items, but let me go ahead just in case. Oh, there we go. I wasn't sure how long this part was gonna take. At one point, I will pause this so we can get this uh, kind of, uh, so you don't have to wait through the entire process. So these are called workloads. And if we look down here, basically there's nothing that's required here for us to accomplish. There is this option here under other tool sets that you know. So it says connect, develop, and test data solutions with SQL Server, Azure Data Lake. Basically, this option here, if you select it, you'll see it would include SQL Server data tools. Create, edit, design, and deploy SQL Server relational database projects. You don't need this to, ex obviously, you don't need this so you can connect to SQL Server, so you can explore databases, so you can write to it. None of that is required whatsoever. So this is technically optional, but if you wanted to, you could technically um, go ahead and just include these two, SQL Server Data Tools and the .NET Framework. Completely optional. Uh, I'll go ahead and just leave this here and include it as part of the process, but really that's all that's needed. Um, we don't need to go through any sort of individual components here. Um, let me check if they've added this actually. Uh, they don't have analysis services. I was just checking to see if they had like integration runtime. Just looking through because these installers get updated all the time, changing locations, downloads. So yeah, the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this data storage processing element just so I can get the database projects. I think there's one class we may have that goes into this, but that's it. So once again, 
completely optional tech you could have just launched the installer and just hit install which is what i'm going to do right now so it's now literally going through the process it's going to starting it's going to have to download that extra um, database project stuff and it's going to move through the process so what i'll do is i'm just going to kind of pause this uh, and then we will get right back and there it is all set and done completed i already i left the checkbox to automatically launch visual studio once it was done um, you can tie this to a Visual Studio account if you like. This helps you kind of like integrate with Azure services and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and hit skip this for now. Uh, you can choose your theming. Do you want to go with a dark theme, a blue theme, blue contrast? Pick your choice, whatever you like. I'm going to leave this to general and I'm going to leave it as the dark theme. And then this will now launch Visual Studio. So once again, by default, this does come with a bunch of different templates that you can leverage here. So as you can see that we can go through. So I want to go ahead and um, you can open or create. If I wanted to create, it basically gives us a library of what we can do. So if we wanted to, I do believe the SQL Server database project, this is only here because I added in that little extra item when we were going through the installation process. But the main thing you will notice that isn't here is something like integration right our integration services if i wanted to create an integration services project it doesn't exist what we need to do is we need to actually add some we need to add the appropriate templates here right so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go back and instead i'm going to just say continue without code so i'm not going to kind of create any sort of temp i'm not going to open up any template project I'm just going to go right into the actual designer itself just like this yeah, you got some what's new stuff. You can check this out, explore. I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. What I'm going to do is go over to the section here at the top, which is called extensions. For extensions, we're going to go ahead and manage them. This shows us what we have installed, right? But what we're interested in is online. This is like a marketplace, right? You can go through, find certain items. There's a ton in here. We're going to go and grab some very specific ones. So for us, I'm going to go here and type in SQL Server. This should kind of filter this down a little bit. Uh, there's actually still quite a bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go one by one. You can technically see there's uh, integration services uh, projects. So that's actually here. So let me actually just refine this. Let's just go with integration. Into, oops. Got to spell things right. So integration services. So this is what we would need in order to create integration services projects. So I'm going to go ahead, select this and hit download, right? We're going to see it's going to give us this tool. This technically, as I was looking at it, right? If we go back to this item, uh, it doesn't, I'm pretty sure it says, let me see if I can expand this. It's in preview, right? So that's usually not the case. I'm fairly certain if we go over here to analysis, I go to analysis services you can see microsoft it's not in preview or reporting services both of these are not in preview so this one's a little unique right so i haven't actually done this one i'm going to go ahead and just run this generally these are going to be items that are done through visual studios extensions um so this is a little bit new um looks like it's still not ga i thought it would have been ga by now um, we're going to install it into our, it shows all instances of visual studio that we have. So our community edition, it looks like in this case, because it's still in preview, um, there are some issues with getting integration services installed. Um, it should be coming GA relatively soon because this is 2022's version. So hopefully that's the case. If you're going to be doing integration services and you're going to be needing that, what I would recommend is downloading Visual Studio 2019. So 2019 is the previous version from Visual Studio. That one, the 2019 SSIS project versions are available and that would still work with your uh uh, SQL Server 2022 instance. It's fine because it is backwards compatible. So integration services, little unique, but that's what I would recommend. The process is almost identical. Download Visual Studio Community Edition 2019. You walk through, get to the extensions, find integration services and hit download. It won't be in preview. You're going to see. Here's reporting services. We're going to go ahead and hit download. 
you can see this is what we expect to see a visual studio extension installer uh, it's going to go through uh, it does once this is all said and done to it does require you to close down visual studio and then reopen it but this is what eventually will be your integration services projects installer so we're giving that a moment it's just moving through the mix there pause through this so we can get through it quickly uh, okay we got this thing we want to go ahead and install reporting services to our community edition So this is what it was telling us for integration services, but here we actually have the opportunity to end these tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. It looks like basically all we needed to do to install integration services. Um, let's see if it's going to, there we go. I just kept hitting end task until it finally did it. So now it's installing this. I'm fairly certain if we go back and run the integration services one, it will probably work at this juncture. So we're going to let this go through the process. Once again, this is for reporting services. Actually, it looks like it's going a little quickly. Let's see if I'm going to curse myself. Um, they're usually pretty small to get the template files in. Mainly, it's about you know the connectivity for because it has to go out, download them, and then installs them. So we'll give that a second. So like it's moving through the motions. So you'll have to go to the marketplace download the actual uh, project files as we did and it will more than likely as we saw require you though to close down Visual Studio uh, in order to be able to install this so you can see I do have um, what we could have done is downloaded the other one as well uh, I'll have to go back in so we can get analysis services but what we'll do is we'll let this complete for reporting services uh, then we'll go through and we'll do the integration services so that one's done so I'm now going to run integration services. Let's see if this one behaves a little bit better. It was my fault. I didn't read that it was just because of those services that were open. So let's see if it moves past this screen this time around. It looks like it will. So let's go ahead and let this do its thing. Um, it might take a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to pause this like we did before. And I'll resume once it's done. All right. That one is all set and done. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. This is just kind of finishing that process. And what we're going to see is once this completes is that we'll go ahead and launch Visual Studio once again. This time around, when we go to select to create a new project, we'll see our integration services as well as reporting services options. The analysis services as well, we can go ahead and download um, because we didn't have that downloaded and you'd want to install that also. What I'll do is I'll omit that as part of this recording. You've already seen me go to the marketplace, download reporting services and walk through the installation. You just need to go through, get that analysis services download and walk through the installation as well, right? So I just want this to get through and completed so I can show you where you can find these respective projects. Give this a moment. And as you can see, as part of this SQL Server integration services installation, it requires a restart so that all the components have been completely installed. Um, I'll do that here after this video is done. I'm going to go ahead, though, and launch Visual Studio itself. Now that it is installed, we can go ahead and launch that. Give that a second here. We can see once again, now if I go to creating a new project, right, uh, you can see right at the top, integration services project. Right here, here's a report server project wizard, report server project. These are what got added as part of those extensions. So don't forget, what you'd want to do is, same thing, uh, I would just go through here, continue without code, and once you're inside, go to that extension, manage it, and look for analysis services. Just type that in, and off to the races you go. So download and install this and you'll be completely done and with that you now have visual studio installed and you're able to utilize any of the bi project templates analysis services integration services and reporting services that there is going to complete this module so hopefully that went through you're able to do that successfully remember this is actually this was an optional one it's only if you're going to go and use any of those three business intelligence uh, services that i described uh, but they're really cool classes. They're really fun. You'll be advised if you take those classes that you're going to need Visual Studio. You need to use these project templates. So it'll be reminded of you. The only thing that's left 
which will be covered in the last video, is going to be installing the SQL Server Reporting Services server itself. That is the last piece that we're missing, and we'll be doing that when we get in the next module. All right, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.